Rhetoric is the art of persuasion. And whether you realize it or not, rhetoric is everywhere. As I speak now, I am attempting to sound logical and knowledgeable so that you will listen. I even add these cool drawings to not only catch your attention, but to make you think that my message is engaging and something you should listen to. I could even show a picture of pizza to try and persuade you to stop looking at your phone and to look at the delicious pizza. So this leads to my next point. Rhetoric, or the art of persuasion, is not just textual or verbal, but visual. In fact, advertisers use visual rhetoric all the time. From the shape of a bottle to the images that surround a product, advertisers use visuals to persuade you to buy things. However, visual rhetoric can also be used to combat certain messages or narratives, such as this advertisement designed to educate people on the link between sugary drinks and obesity. Your main tools for analyzing rhetoric are ethos, pathos, and logos. And if you want an in-depth explanation of those appeals, click on the link given at the end of this video. As a quick reminder, ethos is an appeal to credibility or trust, pathos is an appeal to emotions, and logos is an appeal to logic. Every argument or form of rhetoric caters to one of or a combination of these appeals. For example, this piece of visual rhetoric caters to all three appeals. The visual of rotten teeth and wrinkles elicits feelings of disgust or fear. Fear of what could happen if you continued smoking. This feeling you get is an appeal to pathos or a person's emotions. The message, when you smoke, it shows, is an appeal to logic. It follows a simple formula. If you do this, then something bad will happen. This reference appeals to a person who values logic. And the reference to Health Canada is an appeal to ethos. This visual is part of a governmental initiative, and there is a website where you can get more info. This message, therefore, seems like it has some credibility to it. Learning how to analyze visual messages is an important step in becoming a critical thinker. Your mission is to analyze the following examples of visual rhetoric and give an explanation of which rhetorical appeals are being used. Is the visual appealing to your sense of ethos, pathos, and or logos? Good luck.